Hello again, everyone. This is Neil here with Option Theory, and I want to welcome you back to this channel. And in this video, we're going to pick up where we left off last time, which I'll link to above. Last video, we looked at how to paper trade a share or shares of a stock or ETF. Um, because it's good to have an understanding of the underlying that is what our options, their derivatives of, and they get their value from that underlying. So Today, we're going to take a look at how to paper trade options. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the screen. So here we are. We're inside of Thinkorswim in our simulated trading account. And you can see that we still have Apple pulled up. And if you can barely see it over here, uh, Today is February 24th, 2020, and uh, yesterday was an interesting day. Uh, yesterday was February 24th. Hello. Today is February 25th, and yesterday was a certainly interesting day in the market. So Apple is not usually the indicator of the market, so let's trade change over to uh, the SPY. The spiders, as they're called, right? You can see there's the spiders. Now... You might be able to see that a little better, but I don't think you really can get the context of what happened yesterday unless we zoom in. So <clears throat> you can see when the market closed on the 21st, it closed and I can't really point to it at the same time, but if you look right up here, right, you'll see the open and the close, right? Well, over there, when we're close, looking at the 21st, uh, the market closed at 3.33, and then on uh, Monday, yesterday, uh, the 24th, it opened uh, at 3.23. So that's what we call a big old gap, and a large one. I believe it was roughly 3%, give or take some decimals, right? So that's a big drop in the market in one day. Uh, and then you can see it tested in case you don't know about candles, right? It was uh, tested up this high, tested down this low. Um, so that that's a big drop. Now, a lot of people, uh, you can see the volume for that day was very high. A lot of, a lot of shares were traded probably um, almost certainly sold off, right? That's what caused this drop. So most people that trade fear days like that, right? Um, you know, most people are long the market and they want the market to go up. And yes, the market does tend to drift upwards, as you can see, but it will occasionally have these days where it, uh, what's the expression? Um, the bull goes up the stairs and the bear jumps out the window. I think you can kind of see what they mean by that. Anyway, this isn't a lesson on uh, chart analysis or anything like that. I wanted to show you how to take a paper position, a simulated position using options. So let's say then that if you were doing a small amount of technical analysis or whatever, you could say, all right, well, yesterday it gapped down and maybe you're the kind of person like me um, who sees a little contrarian, contrarian opportunity, the ability to say, all right, it came down, my guess when it goes down shortly after it comes back up. Okay. And not only that, did it come down? Look where it came down to previous places where it has bounced back up. So, okay, let's take a position, but let's take one that puts the odds in our favor. So with that, we're going to go over to this analyze tab because that's where I like to spend my time. Right. And we're currently waiting for our data to come in. There it is. There's our, data for the options chain for the spiders. And now we have to choose our expiration. Do we want to go 24 days in? That's not a lot of time left. Um, 52 days. Let's take a look at what we got here. So let's just start with 24 days. Uh, and maybe because the volatility is so high yesterday, due to yesterday's drop, we might still have a decent amount of premium in there. Okay, and now, now that I'm here, I want to look at the deltas, and I see uh, for me that I want to get down a little lower, so I need to see more strikes. Let's go with 25 strikes, see what I get. All right, so that might work. All right, so that means that there's roughly <clears throat> a 30% chance 
that you, these options would be in the money and that would be a problem for me, right? So that's 70% chance that they'll expire worthless. All right. So what I'm thinking here is maybe trying to set up uh, a vertical spread, right? A put spread, or we call it a short put spread. Some might call it a uh, bull put spread. If I were to then click on this option uh, in the bid column, all right, and then click on it, the 311 in the ask column to buy that one, all right, what that's going to do is create a vertical uh, put spread for me, a short put spread. And let's take that and see, all right, what that would get us in a risk profile. Okay, this is typically what your risk profile graph would look like for a vertical uh, in the case of a put spread where you will profit as long as it stays above a certain target, right? And uh, what our max profit is at expiration is $18. Right. What's our max, max risk is going to be the width of the spread, which is a dollar. And you can see the width of the spread here being a 312 and 311. That's a dollar wide spread. Take away our credit of $18. All right. And of course, the max loss is 82. All right. So with that, OK, what we can do is choose to set our price slices here to break even at expiration. Okay, and expiration for this one is March. Okay, so we have a 68 or, yeah, let's call it a 68% chance of this, um, of breaking even, right? Or not losing any money. Okay, so anything to the right of this line is going to be a profit for us. All right, uh, anything beyond this point on the right line, as long as it closes or expires at, at you know this price or higher, you'll make your full profit. Now, that's not really uh, the kind of um, profit that I'd be looking for. But either way, that's not the point. This we're not talking about systems at this point. We're just talking about how to take a position. And then if I wanted to put that on, I could choose to right click, choose confirm and send. Now in this case, because I built it in uh, singles, all right, it's gonna have to do that twice. So let's show you this one. What I want to do, go back to this analyze tab, add simulated trade. And let's say we did this 312, right? So I could right click the bid and choose analyze sell trade, choose vertical, all right? Now we have our short 312, long 311. I think that's what we did before, right? And we can go and look at the risk profile again, same thing. Although somehow I managed to get this slightly different and we've got a three, a $23 credit. Fantastic. All right. Still a 68% chance. Awesome. All right. Now it's a credit of 23 cents. If I wanted to route that, I would choose to right click, choose confirm and send, right? Going to tell me what my max loss is going to be what my max profit. This is closer to where I would want to be anyway. Um, and then the resulting buying power effect on the margin account, even though I could lose, uh, you know, um, in this case, it's going to take the full amount, $77 of risk. So I'd hit send, right? Go over to my monitor page and there is my uh, working order. And just like last time, this isn't a position I really want to take right now. Um, I did take a real position in uh, S spiders yesterday, but it was a little different. So, there it is. I'm going to right click that. I want to choose cancel that order. So I just reviewed again how to cancel an order that you uh, put into a paper trade. So that was a quick look at how to take an options position. And uh, you can see we put on a vertical uh, options spread as well. So there are plenty of ways we're going to cover on uh, how to take different positions. And I guess this is where I want to introduce you guys into what I want to do next. So you've, if you're following this and you've been looking at these videos on how to use thinkorswim, where I want to take you next is uh, let's trade as often as possible. Right. And one of the ways you can do that is to subscribe to a email blast, not mine, but if you go to tastytrade.com and you can subscribe to their email newsletters, one of them, the one I want to recommend that you subscribe to is the Cherry Bombs. Um, 
So five days a week, you'll get a cherry bomb. Four of those days is going to be a suggested trade. My plan for the future uh, is, of course, to continue doing these how-to videos, but also to put the tasty trade system to the test, see if it's profitable, do the best we can to stay faithful to it, and uh, share those trades with you. Uh, I invite you, of course, 100% join me, come along for the ride, do these simulated trades yourself, put it to the test, right? So um, go ahead, sign up for that email blast at tastytrade.com. I think you're going to really enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you join my Cherry Bomb Squad. Okay, uh, I'll see you in the future videos. Mm -hmm.